Hi, I'm John. I illustrate personalities. Have you ever looked at a painting and got that wow factor? There's a reason for that. There's a reason a Rembrandt is as valuable today as it was 500 years ago. It's because of what he did before he put his name on it. In the early 80s, I had couples bringing me pictures from magazines as examples of what they wanted for their photographs. They really didn't know what they wanted. They knew what they didn't want. They didn't want stiff, boring, overposed pictures. That style of photography is called photojournalism. Photojournalism captures what you're doing and what you look like. Classical portrait, on the other hand, is about your personality and who you are as a person. I illustrate personality. I wish I had a dollar for every time I heard, that's a great picture, you must have a great camera. Ansel Adams said, most important part of the camera is the 12 inches behind it. Of course, that isn't even part of the camera. It's not the camera that's important. It's the light and the composition. When an artist paints, he brings the attention to all the important elements using light and composition. It doesn't really matter whether you're doing photojournalism or classical photography. You begin with the end in mind. Who's it for? What's the audience? What's the emotion? What's the story? Now, how are you going to illustrate that? Composition includes posing and where to place the subject in the frame. If you were an artist, you would control where the subject or person appeared in your painting. If you were a stage director, you would control where people appeared on stage so that your audience knew where they were to be looking and where the action was. Documentary photographers are constantly making compromises between composition and spontaneity. Yet, composition is one of the strongest, most useful tools in the creation of visual art. It ensures that the image has impact and that there is a smooth transition from one area of the image to another, making sure that all of the important objects are being brought to life. Whether you're using the rule of thirds, fifths, eighths, or the golden ratio, composition will make sure that the viewer's attention goes where you want it. Throughout history, artists have posed their subjects. Photography is a different medium, not a different art. The same rules that apply to that painting apply to a photographic portrait. Posing isn't something you should be afraid of. It's something you should embrace. Imagine your disappointment if in a family portrait all of the attention went to one, two, or three people, while the rest of the family looks like they forgot their deodorant. Posing will make sure your image has as much harmony as your family, maybe more. The process of creating a classical portrait removes the guesswork. It ensures that you're going to get an image that you're going to be proud of for years to come, and your friends are going to envy. My name is John, and I illustrate personalities with classical portraits. Thanks for listening. Thank you.